I'm doing a video for all of us and I just want to dive into the energies right now, see what the experience is like and share just an overall message that we can all benefit from. I'm going to relax and get tuned in. I know we're in a Mercury retrograde. I don't know how you guys are doing out there. I'm sure there's collective experiences we're all sharing in right now. All right, relaxation time. Let's see what comes up, okay? All right, what is the highest wisdom I can share with all of us today about the energies right now, collective growth and development, interesting things, <laughs> not boring things. <laughs> all right, let's see. All right, so it's like I'm looking through, looking through, okay? So I'm looking through what is looking through, <laughs> if that makes any sense. And there's a big screen. And I see a man who's like a gladiator, and he's standing in a desolate world. Now I also experience myself as the gladiator in the desolate world. I also experience myself sort of, it's almost looking through a television, through a television, and why I say that is, while I could feel myself as this gladiator, I also feel separate. And I also feel quite far back looking through, looking through. And so there's a distance between everything. There's a participation and there's a distance. There's also a desire happening here. There's also a sensation of things falling short or falling flat, of reaching that type of desire, which is something more. As in something more enriching, something more... It's kind of like on the level of being a kid again and you stumble across a, a hidden secret cavern and now you're exploring it and you're coming across the golden coins and, and jewels on the ground and now you see some skeletons and some strange writing on the walls and then poof there's some sort of magical energy appearing before you and there's a strange man in the energy <laughs> now this is enriching interesting <laughs> it's kind of like this It's like, um, you know what this reminds me of? I was watching a My Little Pony show, and it's like a new My Little Pony. This was like a movie. I only watched the tail end, so I can't tell you what it was called. Anyway, some of the, <laughs> the exchanges were so simple. It's like, man, if only real life could be that easy. And then after these simple exchanges, there was these annoying delays. It's like, ah, oh, but it was so simple. And now I have to wade through all this annoying suspense. Like, just give it to me. Just show me what I want to see. <laughs> and then, uh, and then it started to come into an outcome that was like an eye roll. Like, oh, great. Uh, it's just the classic, uh, um, practical message only for it to surprise me and turn into the message I was hoping for all along. <laughs> it really did it for me, okay? In the end, I, I felt good. I felt satisfied. <laughs> and something about this is kind of echoing my experience last night with the My Little Ponies. All right. It's still a bit of a mysterious message, because we're working with just visualizations. We're working with just seeing into, but not really accessing that which we desire, okay? And my higher self wants to talk about what is the difference between fantasy and reality, and can you tell? <sighs> Can you even tell what, what you are? It's almost like what propels you. Is what propels you in every action of your day based upon a fantasy? And if it's based upon a fantasy, how are you manifesting 
a reality, a reality through working with a fantasy. Now, if you were to get real with it and start asking some real questions here, am I diving into this because I'm hoping for this kind of outcome? Because some part of me needs it to be like that? What is the reality that I'm avoiding here? And it's really allowing me to feel an experience. This is the experience. We should all try this, including me. <laughs> I've done this before. But it's like many things that you start doing and then you stop doing it for some reason only to re be reminded of it again later. <laughs> all right. You got to try this. So basically, you can't imagine how much of your energy is projected out of yourself into something, okay? Into the future, into this irritating situation, round and round and round we go all day, projected into it, putting yourself into it, looking around at all the faces, telling everybody how you really feel inside, not even realizing you're doing this with your day. So much creative interaction taking place when you could just be here. Have you ever tried to actually look at your belongings and actually say, I'm really in this place right now? Now sit with it. Stay with it. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> All right, look at some objects in your real world, in your room, okay? Wherever you are. Now, really pull yourself into the room. Pull yourself into yourself. It's kind of odd to think of what is a yourself. Is it your personality? Is it your body? Is it your consciousness? Is it your soul? Like, what is a yourself? <laughs> Pull yourself back together, man. <laughs> Pull it together. <laughs> Pull that yourself back into that which is this. <laughs> Pull it back, okay? And the more you sit here and the more you look at your tangible stuff, the weirder it can feel. Like, where have I been? Have I not even been here? How much of me actually is in here? In this body, in this room, in this present moment? How much of me is actually existing in this space of reality? In this space of reality? Maybe that's what the My Little Ponies were telling me. I was sort of living in this projected desire for something simple. Something to just be easy and it was doing that for me. Although then it was corrupting it by luring me into a suspense that was annoying only for it to come back to some practical annoying truth, only for it to, to become what I was hoping it would be. And then I felt good about myself. <laughs> like, what is that saying? Like, what does that even mean, right? Like, what is the fantasy that was going on there that I was getting lured in by the show, you know? <laughs> and what is that telling me about myself and my life right now? You know how many times I said, why can't it just be easy? This show presented me how easy, easy can really be, and it was wonderful. It was almost like I was bringing that concept into my life, and I was living it without actually consciously creating the ideas of it, like the, the visions of it, but I felt like I was connecting to simplicity on a level that was just too simple, and it was wonderful working through all this emotional stuff watching My Little Pony. But now we're bringing it back to the present. This space it has nothing to do with all this other what is that anyway stuff. Now when we pull ourselves back into this, into our body, it gives us personal power. The next step is to actually wait a moment. Really, really, really energetically feel the presence of your in reality. This is your reality. This is your space. This is where you exist. All right, pull it all into that. And then just be as silent as you can be. 
you'll find it's almost boring. Like you have to always be entertaining yourself somehow. Um, but you just pull it back in and just relax and just try to quiet it down a little bit and wait. I've, I've attempted to do this and it's always a very short-lived experiment. But if you wait and you might get a message, something might reveal itself from deep down inside of you your body would actually, um, potentially, which it always usually does for me, I have a feeling it'll do it for you too, but you have to hold it. Literally, you have to hold yourself inside yourself for as long as you can, like a good two to three minutes. It'll be hard to even do that, I swear. But you hold yourself in there and relax into it and allow it to happen some more and some more and some more. And just be silent in that time, okay? And you'll hear a silent voice tell you some kind of truth about yourself. Man, it makes me emotional saying that. It's almost like part of the collective message is encouraging us to try this because we're all longing to hear a personal truth. It's like uh, there's a craving or a starvation f to hear a personal truth. And to access it yourself, by yourself, all by yourself, you can do this, right? Be present, be present in your body, and then just be still. And allow an experience to take place, and you'll receive a sensation of a message of some kind, okay? That's what I meant to share with you guys. I meant to just share that. What do you think about that? Do you have have you ever tried that before where you pull yourself in? I might have talked about this somewhere over the years. <laughs> I'm sure I might I'm, I'm pretty sure I probably have. I can't remember. <laughs> There's a lot of videos out there that you pull yourself in. It's a it's a magical moment. Maybe the magic is right here. It's not in the fantasy, it's in the reality. And the only way to access it is to come back come back to yourself, bring yourself back to yourself, <laughs> do that, okay? All right, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you're all doing well and have a really awesome day.